Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to um, create a, uh, well, not to create it, but how to make it work. Uh, a, you know, scenario that is in Open Vibe Designer 3.3 by default, actually in all, all older versions it exists, this motor imagery um experiment or let's say scenario so from zero to four um i'm actually doing this because i have i had a few questions about how how to make it work so it's actually just examples that are already there by default so you can go here and open by designer you go to open and then you go you can go to here you see the the path it's in BCI examples, motor imagery, CSP, you see BCI examples, then you have like all these different examples, but we're doing motor imagery, CSP, it's a special filter that we're using. And, you know, so I just did this and with shift, I opened all of these uh, scenarios here. Okay, so they're open in the designer. What I did here, uh, I opened um, a acquisition server. Uh, so I'm not going to be connected to any EEG device, so I'm just going to create fake data, fake, uh, you know, um, signals, generic ones that are, exist. You can, you can choose that here in, in, you know, the menu of open by acquisition server. So yeah, I don't need to uh, connect to any device to, 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 just for the purpose of this, you know, example, so you can see how to, you know you know connect things actually i'm not even sure how to connect it's basically how to save your data and change what's saved i mean it's it's quite easy uh what is important here so by default we have four channels i augmented them to 14 because uh because uh it just earlier it showed me an error that uh, because our spatial filter actually expects more than four because a spatial filter reduces the number of electrodes onto those uh, that we that are necessary let's say so so it reduces for 14 of them onto only four of them so actually if we give him if we give it four it will have it will give you like an error okay so this is what i did just earlier so that's why everything is opened already because i figured I realized that that was a mistake so this is a flight for and I'm doing this again so this is a sampling frequency typically uh, EEG devices are 256 or 512 Hertz that's okay let's just leave that there preferences um, yeah you don't need to correct the drift because it's we're not connected uh, currently to you know with the device with bluetooth and so on you can put the tolerance who cares okay that's not really important because we're you know generating fake signals let's do that and when you start your experiment so basically acquisition client receives the data that the server is sending it's it's basically also like a client so you can have multiple different computers that are receiving data from this one server from this another computer let's say and because everything is for now on my own computer the same pc so i'm using the same host name but if you are if you want to receive the data coming from another computer here you need to put in the ip address of its of this other computer you can find the ip address of your own computer in i think it's system no settings 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 network and internet um where, where was that where was that um properties and you see yeah this is your ip address okay so you if you want some another computer to be linked to yours, you're connected to an EEG and then another computer, your friend, for example, wants to, you know, uh, process the data on their own computer, then you give them your IP address, they put the acquisition client, the, the, you know, the port, you need also to be, uh, you know, careful what is the port. Okay, um, and you need to be on the same network, right? Uh, okay. The next scenario, oh yeah, so in the beginning, you it's it's really recommended to, you know, to see the signal, how it looks like. So you ask your participants to 
blink to to clench their jaw to see if the alpha waves are visible so when they to tell you tell them close your eyes and then you can see the alpha waves now we have only you know fake signals so just some fake data 14 channels you know it's nothing really it's nothing really meaningful we just this is just for this example so that you can see how it looks like so the second scenario scenario number one what we're doing here we have a you know this typical grads uh, interface where you have this cross you'll see it in a few seconds have it this cross and then you have this arrow for the left arrow to, to, um, showing on the right and then you when you see that you tell your participants okay now you imagine your left hand movement imagine the right hand movement focus and so on look at this blah 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 so here you can uh you know you can you can you can choose how many trials you have for each class meaning for each hand in this case you have this motor imagery of hands um yeah you can you can you know change the feedback duration let's just leave everything by default again you have your acquisition claim this is important so you need to receive the data that you're you know collecting from an eeg device this is very important. This is why I am actually doing this whole tutorial because I got questions for this. This is important. So what happens here? You need to save your data somewhere. You're saving this data because you afterwards you want to train your classifier and you want to train your spatial filter. So this is important that you figure out where to save this. Uh, I, what I typically do, I'm, I save it outside of this scenario. Actually, what would be a, the best practice is that you don't really change these scenarios that were here by default. I actually recommend that you copy these scenarios outside of Open Vibe and you tweak them. You know, I'm changing some little things, blah, blah. Uh, and I don't want to change the default. Maybe, you know, afterwards I make a mistake and I don't know how to go back to what it was before. So I, yeah, I recommend you just make another copy and you change the co the one that you copied. You don't change the, the you know, original uh, scenarios. Um, so, yeah, what it says here. So this is saving the data or the signals in my scenario directory so where i am currently in i am in here i'm in motor imagery csp and then with us to save here i am going to save it outside i'm going to save it here in desktop and i created like this new okay create folder signals generic yeah so i tested just before to see if it works and it works so i'm doing this again and let's see so uh we're saving it here Okay, and if I say open, oh, it says no, you need to give me your file name. Oh, and then you're like, oh, okay. And this was intelligent to use motor imagery, blah, blah, blah. And it gives you the date and the time. That's good because then you won't overwrite your files, your future, future files. So let's do that again. Let's go here. Signals. Right. So you, you create a folder uh, called signals on your desktop, on documents, whatever. And let's call it like this motor imagery blah 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 it's new date time because and then it won't so it won't overwrite my previous ones that i saved because it has this you know very intelligent way of saying okay this will be a new time and new new file okay okay let's do that so let's save that apply so this is where it's being written what is very 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 important and that i think that's what happened with my the person that asked me questions is that uh, when you start play here i think uh what happened is that this person uh turned it off before it had ended itself by itself and what what happens in that case is if you turn this off then this little thing never sends a stimuli a marker you know the information that it ended so it will look like this scenario never ended. So this is very important. Do not exit this. Just let it end by itself. It will turn off by itself. And okay, so this is starting. So it's showing this cross. And basically, okay, you're seeing left and right hand, like these instructions. Imagine to the right, imagine to the left. And this is going to last like seven minutes. So do not exit this, okay? Let it turn let it you know just end by itself 
I'm going to fast forward this. Okay. So you see it ended it exited by itself. I didn't need to, you know, end it myself. Uh, you need to wait because so this little thing will send this simulation saying, okay, it's the end, okay, and that it will perform, it will stop. Uh, without this, uh, your your signal uh, won't have this simulation at the end, and it will it will won't know, it will not know that it ended. So this is basically kind of like a marker, okay, saying it ended. It's the end of our our file, okay. So, uh, opening the next scenario, this is very important. You need to find exactly where you saved your data, okay? So, let's do that. Let's see what's, what I did one just earlier and I did one, uh, one now, okay? This is the new one that we did, okay? So, let's just select that, okay? So, my, again, my advice is save it outside of the, these scenarios and so on save it you know in some kind of new folder on your desktop or somewhere on the documents wherever you want okay so let's open that apply okay so this is the new okay file that i just stay saved i am using it to uh train my class my 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 uh spatial filter of your electrodes the electrodes that you're using and when you're filtering you're filtering out some electrodes that you do not need so they're not all useful because you know if you're using motor imagery most most of all uh, what is activated is you know your sensory motor cortex and your left and right hemispheres so some electrodes will, will just not receive any data they will not pick up anything any activity so they are maybe you know not really useful uh, so, you know, to reduce the problem and to, to reduce the, you know, dimensionality of, of our data, we're, you know, reducing, so we're filtering out uh, some, some, some electrodes, some information that we don't have need. Okay, not necessarily need. Uh, so, I'm, what, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, okay, let's click right, uh, double click here. And what happens is here, you need to also to be aware of where this file is being saved. Okay, so this is what will contain the information of which electrodes are, you know, stayed, which, what, what's happening. So this, you can also change the path or whatever. I actually left it here, but, you know, maybe it will be best that you put it somewhere else. But, oops, uh, I didn't want to do that. But um, what you, you need to pay attention is that when you train your spatial filter and when you train your classifier they need to be at the same place because the classifier is taking the information from your 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 spatial filter okay so the classifier is taking the data from only these few electrodes you know so uh, you need to be aware that this config file is at the same place same directory folder uh as <clears throat> your classifier config file okay so be aware uh so i see here that it's the player scenario directory okay it's the same as my filter player scenario directory blah blah, blah. i'm in the same scenario directory here okay so let's do that i'm, I'm going to fast forward this uh and yeah it ended and if i did in if i you know ended my what as i told you here if i ended my my interface my grads visualization before it ended itself here if i would press play you know it would never end it would just never stop okay it would never it wouldn't see this marker okay it's the end of the file stop so it's very important that you you, you let it end by itself okay let's train our did I wait 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 I didn't I think I did not change my new uh okay so now yeah I need to see this is the new yeah okay so this was the previous one this is a new one the previous one I didn't film though this was just a test to see 
anything works because uh, this is a new version of open vibe so i thought okay maybe something changed but that's no, okay everything is the same as before well not everything but in this case this example you know the default example is the same and so let's train our classifier that's good no errors we're going to do that great perfect let's see what are these messages basically it gives us like an uh you know approximate uh, 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 uh classification accuracy cross validation accuracy so it says okay the first class and the second class this is the accuracy of how much you know success successfully it um classified the left from the right hand motor imagery but remember here we have just you know some fake signals so we i don't know what it actually happened here okay so it just classified something who cares uh and let's see so here again i would suggest that you write your data again in your the same place where you're you know using the acquisition so just save as well you know this this new uh, the online data that you're here um oops, why is this yeah i'm going to do so you see so you're using the same uh, this this same syntax you want to keep again the date and the time so that it doesn't override uh your previous files okay i want i want that to stay like that i want it to be saved in my in my desktop folder uh again you need to have this acquisition client because now you're receiving new data coming on your classifier is trained already and it should magically know if you imagine left or right hand a movement and uh here you should visualize a feedback so when you were training your your here your uh, your well when your uh participant was you know first training and just giving you were giving him instructions it didn't see any they didn't see any kind of feedback here they will see feedback let's see let's see let's see first again i think there is this baseline period uh, maybe 10 seconds i don't know it's actually written i think i can change that you can change that if you want in in the bc motor imagery stimulator here grass motor imagery uh stimulator you can change how much time you need to wait here how long you know the trials last how long the pause between the trials and so on yeah it's 30 seconds okay so the person here imagines right hand motor imagery wow it's it's going to the right okay left hand motor imagery okay so basically this is a little bit random again my you know these these fake uh, oscillations are just oscillating it's not it, you know <laughs> it's not really but yeah so that's it that's that's it that's it's, it's all there is uh 